three. Okay, Tim, oh, I'm going to go ahead you, and sure. make some comments on this. Let's see if I can turn down the video sound so I don't hear that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot. I'm guessing that you're playing some games, so I'm going to just jump in. I'm not going to do too much, but watching how all the points are going, give some tips that way. Okay, so nice serve return. Good spin up. Good over on the backhand. After you play the backhand, get ready to attack. Um, also, we don't want to be playing your backhand from your forehand side. That line down the center of the table is for doubles, but you should never be playing your backhand on the other side. That's fine. Okay, after you play that backhand, get ready for your forehand. Serve. Okay, that's a serve and push attack. So we're going to serve and then look for the attack. Left hand stays up. Okay. On the flips, we want to actually do more than just move our hand. We want to actually turn our shoulders, move our feet. I'd say right now you're a little bit too close to the table in order to play that service return back effectively. So when you're returning serve, get back a little bit so that you have some space. Good job there. I've got a little um, pointer that I can circle things. So that's a great forehand that you'd played right there. Push. Okay, so I'm not sure the level of this player, but he just kind of swings at a lot of shots, so you should be doing well. Okay, when you're pushing the side topspin, you don't want to take it off the bounce and pop it up. You either want to flip it or push it really strong. So I know this is a little disjointed, that I'm just grabbing little things left and right but it is what it is. Okay, good loop, then get ready. When you loop up the first ball, where do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna block it, drive the second. We don't do two opening loops in a row. We wanna make sure you have a distinction between your opening loop off of underspin and your drive off of tops and spin up, ball comes back. Okay, that's good backhand. You might play a forehand on that one. You did all the work to step around, so your feet should be in position to continue to play another forehand. Drop it, spin up, now get ready, get ready. Okay, he makes a very nice shot, okay? I'm gonna say that it was somewhat potentially lucky because his footwork really didn't lend itself. Serve, get ready, okay, net serve. Serve, good one, spin up, and great, you're blocking it with your left hand. Now you're killing me, Tim. Okay, we gotta make sure that our left hand is not blocking the ball, but that tells me that your left hand is part of the stroke, which is good, okay. Give yourself some space. You're like on top of the table. A deep serve, you're gonna be jumping backwards. If they serve deep, you should be going forward even though it's deep. So I'd move another three inches to your left and also a little bit further back, okay? Forehand, backhand, be ready, be ready. Another forehand, good placement. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we want you doing. We want you actually hitting your opponent with the ball. Good job. Push. Spin up, nice job. After you spin up, get ready. Don't be spinning up and then be surprised that the ball comes back. That's a whole idea. It's a setup after you spin up to be able to drive the next ball with your forehand. Okay, so you got the serve. This is good, I'll be able to see your footwork. Okay, after you serve with your forehand, the whole purpose of a forehand serve is to play a forehand on the next ball. So if you serve it and he pushes to the middle, that's good. Good job, don't worry about his lucky backhand. Do not worry about that. That was a good serve and follow. We just need to make that loop go into a better location. Backhand good, and then be ready. Okay, good job. Drop it, spin up. Mm. Decide whether you're spinning it up or you're driving it. That one you did a little bit of both. Good serve, be ready. Good backhand, good forehand, nice. Nice job, nice job. Good footwork as well. Way to step around the ball. Push. Not sure what stroke you did there. And that, okay, two strokes. I have no idea what that was. Okay. Figure out where your feet are. See, jams you and then goes opposite. He's serving deep. You should be able to loop that ball into his elbow or to a wide wing. Still a little bit too close to the table on the serve return. It's going to put you at a deficit. See how far you can stay away from the table and just touch it with your racket. That's probably a better distance. Serve, good backhand block, but really serve it short or serve it long. Let's get away from just serving in the middle of the table. Spin, good, get ready. 
we need two loops in a row, not a loop and a block. Okay, you loop the first one up, you get ready to loop forward. Okay, oh my gosh, he's serving side top with a reverse pendulum. Don't think like, oh, I'm going to push it short. No, it's side top, you got to flip it. Okay, that one you can push short because it's underspin. But if it's side top, cannot push those short. Those are supposed to be flipped at the top of the bounce or on the way up to the top of the bounce. Okay, serve, get ready, loop, good placement. Loop, not sure where to go, go to the body. Serve, get ready, uh, push, that push is kind of scary. It's not, it's not, that push does nothing. It's just saying, please loop it down my throat. Okay, be ready for these deep ones. You're so close. Give yourself another two inches further back. That's why we're blocking deep serves, okay? You should be spinning those, but you need some extra time. Again, you see he serves deep and you're just blocking. You should have time to turn and use your forehand and loop that ball. But if you're too close to the table on the serve return, it's gonna be problematic. Okay, serve, get ready, spin it up. He chops your point. Okay, serve, get ready, spin it up. Okay. I do know that you feel good about the quality of your loop and that you're spinning it up. Always make that first one safe and on the table. The second ones are drives that are going forward. Okay, good try on the block. A lot of balls, if you block them in the net, it's because you're so early. Try to use a little bit more shoulders and some waist and some waist and go through the ball. Okay, can't be pushing the deep serve. Got to be looping the deep serve. That's a deep serve. You've got to loop it. Absolutely have to loop it. Okay, good job. Nice, nice. After you loop it, <clears throat> let's not stand still eight feet from the table. Move in so you put a little bit of pressure on him. Push, spin it up. He's chopping, drop. Okay, got to read the spin. And when you push, make sure you put spin on the ball. You're just touching it. That's not how you push. When you push, you come in and you cut the bottom of the ball in order to keep it low. Okay. I know the idea is to like have touch, but you have touch by actually spinning the ball. It's like shooting a foul, a free throw. You wouldn't shoot a ball that just goes straight at it. You'd have some backspin on it. Okay, spin that ball up. Okay, then get ready. Okay, he's chopping, so there's gonna be a little bit of spin on that since he kept your loop low. Serve, get ready to loop, get ready to loop. No third ball pushes, no third ball pushes. Either backhand, spin it up, <clears throat> or step around and use your forehand. Look and see where he is. If he's close to the table, see, see how much further he is from the table? than you are on the server turn. Spin up, now cover it. Don't spin up and then spin up. He's blocking the ball. You spin up, he blocks it, you loop forward. Top spin, it's scary, spin up. Now on the next ball, if he had put that over the net, you need to spin forward. Up for the loop against underspin, cover it, good. Again, you're playing it right into his racket. You have to see where he's standing before you decide where you're playing it to. Serve. Ouch. Now we're doing a little bit of rushing, going to the backhand serve. It's tricky. Serve, get ready, get ready. After you serve it, you better be ready to use your forehand. You can't serve and follow it up with a push. There's the push. Here comes the loop. There comes the block off the end. You're giving up the attack on your serve. When you're serving, you're attacking. When he's serving, you're stopping his attack and you're trying to fight for your own nice placement there. Good job. Good job. Okay, get ready, get ready, pay attention, keep your focus. Ball comes off the end. That's a loopable ball. You can use your normal loop. You shouldn't be half flipping it on a deep serve. Comes off the end, turn your shoulders, loop the ball for winner. I'm guessing that this is the beginning of the loop, or the beginning of the drill. So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here.